Round one. Fight! The standoff. How's it going today? You know, I have the responsibility of watching over this little dude right Bruh. here. You guys see him? Throw a goal. And my dog, Kobe, is in this crib with him. But uh, it was starting to get bored, and uh, it's time for us to go to the fish store. So let's go to the fish store. I also have to take my daughter, Haven. Say hi, Haven. Ready to go? Alright, so we're gonna go to the fish store and let's check out the fish to see if there's any cool fish. So the store that we are going to today will be Aqua Unlimited. Last time I went there, about the plant. Yeah, it's been like a month. I'm going in with nothing to expect. I'm not gonna expect any fish, I'm not expecting to buy anything. So we'll see if I buy anything. There it is, folks. Oh, oh. First thing we see, goldfish. You can't see it? Yeah, hey, I looked through right there. There you go. Look over here, it's the fish is over there. Amazing waterfall system. Yeah, look, that big fish. Oh, you see that blue one, Haven? The blue one right there? Yeah. What is that? It's Dory. It's Dory? Yeah. Check it out. They got the Nimochromis. Polystigma. I have the uh, Livingstone Eye in my tank. Three for 40. Hmm, I wonder if I should buy or not. Auto Pharynx Heterodon. I'm assuming it's that one. Looks pretty cool. Precepts. Some very small ones. Assorted peacocks. They got the mediochromis. Compressor set. Albino peacock. Some John Stoney. I don't have these in my tank either. These guys are pretty big actually. They're like three inches. That one at least. That one I think is three inches over there. Wow. I think this is a pretty good deal. Thirteen dollars. Uh, this one's gotta be a male. Taiwan Reeves. Looks so cute. Albino Taiwan Reefs. They have one Malawi Hawk left right there. He has a big stomach. Oh, uh, OB Pika. $35 each. Ooh, this is a pretty nice color. Wow. So as you guys see, they have a huge selection. Also, Chromis, Rostratus, 
these guys right here. Got some VC10. Malomo VC10s. Motoro Stingrays for 190 each. Now, that's a pretty good deal. Check it out. And this is their half tank. Assorted halves. Big Venistas. Livingstone iron. These are some big fish. Look at those E's. These are huge. Damn, they are big. Crystal clear water. Look how big that is. This is one of the biggest E's I've seen. The E, I call them. She drawing. We at the pet store. Looking at some turtles right here. Some pretty cool turtles just chilling. $25. No thanks. This is what you call a black arowana. Living with some South American cichlids. Did you are Chiapagus. A few moments later. All right, you guys. So I bought some stuff from the fish store, and just want you guys to check it out. Uh, I bought this uh, Hikari Cichlid Cichlid Staple. So it's fish food, large. These pellets, the floating type. I thought that uh, this would be good for the fries to eat. That way they can munch on it. I need something bigger for them that way they could just keep munching and I got this little filter right here well this one's actually okay size and I'm planning on putting this one over there in the uh, 40 gallon right now my 40 gallon it's uh, as you can see it's it only got two sponge filter running uh, the fish are super healthy, the water is super clean, clear, because I changed the water like twice a week and I also changed the filter. Uh, just cleaned the filter a lot, so check it out, this water is super clean. But uh, this over here, it's just a, a regular end piece, so I'm gonna instead put this sponge filter in. So that's what that's for. And lastly, I bought a mini small filter up to 10 years, one year warranty. Check it out, this thing is small. This thing will be good for uh, my fry tank. Let me open it. See how big it is? Oh my God, it is tiny. Yes, it's perfect for my fry tank right there. I'm gonna put it this one right here. Let's do that right now. Okay, so let's measure this. This filter to see how tall it is. Compared to my DIY, it's a little bit taller. It's around like three inches. Three inches, but uh, if I remove that top part, it would be like around two inches. So that's a, this is a pretty good product as well. Just a little box again that it came from. Aqua Top. Three dollars only. Got it from my local fish store. Pretty cool. So those of you who also have bins, use it right here. So my only problem that I've run into right now is that my end piece is kind of big and when I put this in here, it just comes off right away so I just need to clip it. And 
so I clipped the end just with my shears and I decided not to put this part right here I think that's just gonna be in the way so now I'm just gonna use it like this put it in let it do its thing let's check out the fish they look like they're loving it bubbles coming out bamboo tree right there and fish fish are doing fine over here the fish are enjoying theirs too so what did i do with my other filter well i'll show you guys now it's on my other tank i decided to put another bin over here for this tank so it's for these little guys Baby Tetris Thingmas. There you go, you see it standing up. So I'm using everything. So that's small, that is like one of the smallest filters that I got. Oh, I'm super excited that, you know, I found it. I wasn't expecting to buy it. But if you guys ever want to buy one, I definitely recommend you guys buying that one for a, a small bins. Now I just need to put this one in. Hey guys, so it's been um, like a month since I've had this filter and it's amazing. It keeps the water clean, it keeps my fish alive, and it does its job i am no longer using my diy mini sponge filter i'm just keeping it in there for the beneficial bacteria to grow in just so those bacteria could uh, help out the fish so right now it's in this bin it was originally in my 125 gallon bin over there but not anymore so it works perfectly for here it's where i keep um my sunshine peacock fries Excuse my uh, jackets. I came back from fishing and it was cold and uh, I need, still need to wash it. But for this tank, as you see, this one is still using the DIY, my DIY, and um, it's not working too well. So I'm planning on buying the same Aqua Top, that one, same one as the one I just bought, and put it in here. As well as this one. This one is just too big and it's just too tall that I always have to keep adding water. You see how, how near the top the water is? I don't like that because the fish sometimes they jump out if they uh, they want food and so they jump out and my, uh, my adult cichlids would eat them. So I plan on buying two more. I just ordered it off Amazon put one for here and put one for here so I definitely recommend you guys to use that if you guys have lower than 10 gallons because they work really well and they have that those rocks at the bottom of the sponge filter that keeps them down and they don't lay on the side like this one see that it's laying on the side because they don't got those rocks in the bottom which is kind of annoying this is the sponge filter that I bought uh, one month later. As you guys can tell, these fish, they are bigger now from last time. If you guys check out my previous video, I bought some OB peacocks. Here's one of them. There is one OB peacock that uh, is outgrowing the rest. Uh, let me see if I can find him. Right there. That's it. So it's working really well if you guys want to save space. Unlike this one, it's pretty fast. Okay, so that is all for today. If you guys like this video, don't forget to put a thumbs up, uh, comment if you guys have any questions, and definitely subscribe if you guys want to see more videos. Peace out.